All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Callie, and today we are going to be making pipe cleaner animals. So I actually have three super fun pipe cleaner animals for you guys to make right along with me today. There's only four things you actually need to make this craft, which is super fun. You need pipe cleaners, you'll need scissors, glue, and googly eyes. You may have also seen on the supply list that we listed some optional things. Things like some, let's see if I have them here. Things like beads and things like string. We also listed buttons and we also listed hot glue. But as a reminder, if you are going to be using hot glue, make sure you ask mom and dad before as it can be dangerous as it's hot. Um, the only two other things that I have are beads and string. If you are using buttons or beads, they can be in replacement of the eyes, but that is totally up to you. I just am gonna show you some different options that you can do with those. But otherwise, we can get started. So we are gonna be making three different animals, as I said before. The first we are going to be making is a stingray. The second, which is a little bit more difficult, is we're going to be making a crab. I actually think for this one also, I'll be adding him a shell on top. And then the final one is we will be making a turtle. But we'll jump right in with the first one and we'll be doing our stingray. So for this, I believe I used three pipe cleaners. So we'll start out with three and we'll see how far we get. So I have a bunch of different colors since I used purple on the model for me to show you. I'll use pink this time. So I'll get three pipe cleaners out and then we can begin. So as you can see on this little guy without his tail, he is kind of a diamond shaped. So that's the first thing that you guys want to work on. But I can show you, oopsies. I can show you what I mean by that. So we'll lean you guys up. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you want to give his body that shape. So if you're looking from above, he's more of a square diamond shape. So that's what you wanna first make with your pipe cleaner. So you're going to wanna bend at different points. I'm gonna first bend right there, make a triangle. Then you're gonna bend again. It's gonna look like this. Bend one more time and it gives you that diamond shape. So again, when it comes to this kind of crossing, here, let's see, I'll make this a little bit longer. This crossing right here, what you're going to do is you're just going to twist them together. So now you have this shape. And from there, all you're going to do is bend across and kind of fill in this entire hole with pipe cleaner. So after you had twisted that corner down, the next thing you're going to do is just wrap this around and we're gonna work our way all the way around the stingray. So once you come to this end right here, what you're going to do is you're just going to attach your next pipe cleaner and by this all you do is you take your two ends and you twist them together but then all you want to keep doing is keep wrapping this around here let's see this end isn't tucked very tight so I'm gonna do it one more time just to be sure because I don't want it to fall apart Let's see. All right, we will continue to get started. So I kind of fixed my square, my diamond shape, because it was almost falling apart. So make sure you have it wrapped around really good. And then we'll keep going. So you just want to wrap around. There's no specific order. I'm just going to be going from the middle to the top. And then from there, I will work my way back down. Okay. 
Another option, in case these aren't staying very well, is to just go right through the middle. That way, that way it creates kind of a loop for you to work with. All right, and once we get to the end, I'm actually going to make this end our tail. So once you have a little tiny hole at the bottom, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this remainder of pipe cleaner and you're gonna tuck it back through the hole and that is what is going to create our tail. We can kind of work on bending that around closer to the end, but for now, we're going to continue wrapping our pipe cleaner around. So to start with this new one, I'm just going to take it and again, twist it all the way up the side and then just keep wrapping it around. I'm going to kind of bring mine around and in again just to make sure that it stays put. You want to wrap around all the way down to the end up until his nose. And I would say this guy is our easiest because he requires no glue except for his eyes. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but I have a few spaces that need to be filled in right at the top and right at the bottom. So I'm gonna get one more pipe cleaner and I'll cut it in half. Another reminder is be careful when you're using scissors on pipe cleaners because they do make a sharp edge. All right, so just like before to fill in our spaces, you just want to tuck and then keep wrapping around. I'm going to do that also on the end back here as it needs to have some space filled in. I can see that. Hi, Sid. Hi, Izzy. I'm glad you guys are watching. All right, we'll continue. Keep wrapping it up and down. All right, all the way to the tail. So as you can see, our body is completely filled in. And the next thing and final step to making our stingray is to add in his eyes. So as you can see, just like this one, you have your square body and your tail. What I did to twist our tail is I just kind of made an S shape, which is completely up to you. All right. So I'm going to push down these tight ends and then we will add in our eyes. So I'm going to be grabbing two googly eyes. And we will add them to our body. All right, so then you want to determine the top and bottom. I'm just going to be using this side as this side was a lot of the time where I was beginning to wrap, so it's a little messier. So I will distinguish this as the top, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to place this down quickly, take my little googly eye, add one little drop, of glue just enough to coat the entire thing find the front of your stingray's face 
and you just want to press that down. So we'll put the other one on. All right, again, just find that spot right at the front of his face. And then you want to push down. You can either hold them down uh, for now because I'm not going to be doing anything else is I'm just going to set it aside with our other one and we will let it dry. And then I can show you guys at the end what it looks like. And so our next one, we are going to be doing a crab. Um, so for the one I just showed you, we made it orange because crabs are orange. I think I'll just do that color again. So I think maybe I used three for this one, three pipe cleaners for this one as well. This one also doesn't require um, a lot of glue. So this is also a semi-easier one, except you have to add a little bit more for the legs and the crab hands. So as you can tell, just like the last one, the first thing we need to do is make his body shape so he is kind of an oval. So what I'm going to do is we just kind of want to guess that shape right there. Take that end and just twist it around. That way it will look like this. And just like our last one, you just want to begin crossing over and filling it all the way up. Let's see. If we can tighten it a little bit more. There. Okay, just like the last one, when you get to your end and you still need to wrap around, you're just gonna wanna twist these ends together again. And keep on wrapping. All the way to the bottom. All right, so as you can see, I filled the bottom half of our oval. I'm gonna take another pipe cleaner and I'll actually cut it in half. And then you just wanna start again. So start up at the top, twist it around the best you can to kind of give it that so it won't fall off. And then finally, just continue wrapping all the way around. Once you get to the top, you can just tuck that end right in there. If it ends up being too long, you can always cut it off. All right, so as you can see, I have his oval body all done. We can compare that to our final result. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to be cutting the pipe cleaner to make his legs, and his little crab arms. So what I did when I was making our first one is I kind of just lined it up with the body to see how long I wanted his legs. So I laid it on top and I said, oh, this looks too long. I'll bring it in a little bit more. And that looks just about right. So then I would cut it there so I'm going to cut it right there. And then to make these even, then I took the rest of the pipe cleaner and all I did was make them even. So I'm going to line it up with another pipe cleaner and cut. And then cut one more time. So you want three equal legs. And then to attach them to the body was very simple. All that I'm going to do 
again, this one isn't using glue as well. So all I did is I went from the bottom near the end and I poked it all the way through. Then I brought it around to the front, kind of made that loop and poked it right back. And then all you wanna do is kind of pull them and get them to be straightened out. So it looks like that. And we will continue that with these. So you just want to poke in and then poke out. Make sure they're even. Our last one, poke in, poke out. Oops, that guy wasn't even, so I'm gonna try one more time. All right, there we go. So as you can see, his legs are just about even. And then the last thing that we are going to add is we will add his claws. So I'm gonna take the second half of our pipe cleaner that we use for the mm -hmm. legs and I'm just going to cut it in half. I'm just gonna fold and cut. And all you're gonna wanna do for this is you want to bend them in half, kind of make a V shape. And then from there, you just want to twist the ends. That way it creates a Y. So we're gonna actually do that well. We put it through the pipe cleaner, through his body. So you wanna go through the front, just like that. Here you wanna make that U. And then you wanna twist the tops to make your Y shape, just like that. So again, go through the body, pull up and make that U, and you wanna hold it tight together and make that Y shape. And then I'm just gonna pinch the other arms together. So now he looks like this, and you can kind of bend and shape his arms and legs. So I'm going to be bending them down, that way we can kind of make him stand. And then just like last time, we will be adding in his eyes last. So just like for the stingray, you're just gonna wanna get two eyes and add two little dots of glue and they should stick on there perfect. So you just are going to take your eye again, place a dot of glue on there, maybe. We'll see if we can get this to work. All right, there's just some glue stuck in there, but I got it. All right, so just a dot of glue. And you wanna find the front of his face right by his claws. And you're just gonna press down like we did for our stingray. Then you're going to take the next one and do the same exact thing. Place it right on his face and just press down. You don't need too much glue, but to make sure they dry on there, I'm just going to set it to the side straighten out his claws here and then as I said while we were starting this video I kind of thought that this guy looked like a spider so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add a shell right on top to this crab 
So what you're gonna do is you just wanna take one more pipe cleaner and we're gonna roll it in a ball. So you kinda wanna do a swirl all the way up. We're gonna use the entire pipe cleaner since we have no other use for it right now. All right, just like that. And then what you wanna do, just like always, is twist in that end, that way it won't come apart. And then from there, you're just gonna kinda wanna push up with your thumb in the center of the swirl that way it kind of creates that shell. As you can see, it makes a little dome shape. And then from there, what you're gonna do is take your glue, put it just around the outside of that shell. And we will just place it right on its back. All right, we'll push it down, make sure it's on there good. And then I'm just going to leave it to dry and I will show you guys the results at the end. All right, so for our final, and I'd say most challenging one, we will be making our turtle and you want to use two different colors for this. If you don't have it, you can always make the shell the same as your body. Uh, for my example, I used green and blue. Uh, for this one, I'll use yellow for his body. I'm going to guess we're going to use about two. I don't remember exactly how many I used for the first one. But we'll use two, I'll guess, for the body. And for his shell, we'll make it pink. And I believe I used three because I used two to make the top of his shell. And then at the end, we actually add this bottom part of his shell underneath to keep everything intact. All right, so what you wanna do first is take your two pipe cleaners. These will be making the shell so you're just gonna twist them together again. That way we just created this one large pipe cleaner. And then just like how we rolled up the shell for our crab, we are going to do that for the turtle just with this very long one. So I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna swirl all the way around. And the shell for your turtle is kind of the base of its body because that's where everything's going to be glued down to. So make sure while you're doing this, you pay really close attention on getting it close and tight together. You don't want a lot of holes because then the glue won't stay. But you're just gonna keep wrapping all the way down. until the end and again just like always once you get to that end you just want to tuck it and twirl it so i'm just going to tuck it right underneath the last row and just twist it around so as you can see we have this flat circle shape just like last time we're going to kind of try to bend it up a little bit that way it creates this kind of bowl shape underneath, which will make it easier for us to add the body pieces in. All right. Okay, so now that we have that, we are going to flip it upside down. As you can see, it's kind of in a bowl shape. And I'm gonna make all the pieces for the body first and then we will glue them in one by one. So we'll just leave our little shell to sit there for now. Then you wanna take your pipe cleaner. 
So first we're going to be making our face. Again, you want to just start by taking all and just rolling until it's a decent size. You can decide how big you want your turtle's head, so this is going to be the face. And then I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to leave plenty of room because we actually tuck up and underneath the shell. And so this will be hidden. But as I want it to dry, right now I'm going to actually add on the eye. You could also add an eye on the other side of his face. But I'm just going to be adding the one... So a good size dot, you want to take your face and decide where you want it, just right in the, right around the center, just like that. Kind of press it there, and I would set it aside to dry while we create the rest of his limbs. So I'm going to cut, this is probably half of a pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to cut this one right in half so they are equal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the second pipe cleaner and just equal these out as well. So now we have three equal size pipe cleaners. Now we have four. These will create his legs. And then you want one more that is probably three-fourths the size of your large ones to make the tail so we'll cut it right there so now you have these four long pipe cleaners and you have one shorter for his tail and to make his limbs it's very easy all you would want to do is bend it into a u shape and then twist the tops together and then it ends up looking like a little foot. As you can see on this guy, that's how they turn out. So you're gonna wanna do that on all four of these legs. And that's the same exact thing you're also going to be doing for the shape of his tail as well. So again, make a U and twist. that again make a U and twist and then I'm gonna take this open space and I'm just gonna kind of squeeze it together as it doesn't need to be that big all right and then lastly for our tail you want to make that little U again and then just twist it together and then the main part of making the turtle's body is you want to have everything be placed inside our shell. So the first thing that I'm going to do is where our shell split from the two pipe cleaners, I'm just going to glue the edge down. But that is completely optional. I didn't actually do that on the first one but I found it a little bit difficult for everything to stay together. So what I'm gonna do is I just place that down where our two pipe cleaners came together. And I'm just gonna press down. And we'll just hold that for a little bit. All right. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is how I made the first turtle, is I just sat this down. I don't really have anything. I'll set it on this clear piece because I don't wanna get glue everywhere. But I just sat the pipe cleaner down. Hopefully it sticks. All right. I sat the pipe cleaner down and I glued all around the inside and I just placed in the pieces of our body. So we'll get everything together. 
so our four legs, the face and the tail. I will do the legs, I'll do the legs first. So you kind of want to bend them up and then on the side that will be touching the inside of the shell, you want to just place enough glue down and stick it right on the inside. And these on the inside will over be will they'll be overlapping a little bit. But in the long run, it doesn't end up mattering quite as much because you actually end up covering that with the second part of the shell. So you're just gonna wanna place these on all four ends of where his legs would be. I'm using plenty of glue because when I started my first one, this little practice guy, I wasn't using enough glue and he kept falling apart over and over again. Lastly, we want to place the tail in. This will just be the same as how you applied the feet. Just add enough glue. We're actually not going to bend the feet because they don't need to be up. And then you're just going to want to stick it to one side or the other. Just so it pokes out enough. And then what you want to do is you kind of want to curl out the head just like you did for the feet and glue the same same exact way just right on the bottom and glue it right down to the inside of the shell once you have that done you want that to dry all the way But then we will get started. So he looks kind of funny right now. He's upside down. But in the end, we'll end up flipping his head. And he'll be right side up. So lastly, again, you're going to make that second part of the shell. So you're going to want to come all the way around. And this shell, we're going to actually leave flat as it's just going to lay on the inside of the body. So no need to bend this shell up. But once you get to the end, again, we're going to want it to tuck and twist that end. But then what I did for this while I was working on my other one is I actually just took the inside of the body and I just dropped a ton of glue in there. because I want to make sure everything stays. So we're going to drop a ton of glue and then we will place down the second half of our shell. All right. So for now, I'm going to have to keep this guy held upside down, but this is what he would look like if he was turned right side up. You can see his eye on this half of his head, but for drawing, I would make sure you let him sit upside down, otherwise I would hold it together. But in the end, this is how he'll turn out. Move his eye on this side, so we'll have our turtle. You have our crab, and lastly, you have our stingray. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun, and I hope you guys did with me. And I will see you guys this Friday. Thank you guys for watching so much.